How's it going guys, it's Jeff from Rogue 7 Tech Support. I'm going to bring you a video, uh, as promised, about the Vista Service Pack 2 updates. Let's see what's new in these, uh, in the Service Pack 2. So let's take a look. I'm going to leave the link for the website I got this off of right over here, so you can take a look for yourself. Um, what they say, uh, for hardware and ecosystem supports and enhancements, uh, Service Pack 2 adds support for 64-bit pre central processing units, or CPUs, uh, from VIA Technologies, which, which adds the uh, ID and vendor strings uh, for the new VIA 64-bit CPU. Uh, Service Pack 2 integrates the Windows Vista feature pack for wireless, which contains support for Bluetooth version 2.1 uh, and Windows Connect Now, or WCN, uh, Wi-Fi configuration. Bluetooth version 2.1 is the most recent specification for Bluetooth wireless technology. Uh, Service Pack 2 improves performance for Wi-Fi connections after resuming from sleep mode. I haven't really noticed anything gigantic in that area, but I guess it's there. Uh, Service Pack 2 includes updates to the RSS feed sidebar for improved performance and responsiveness. Uh, Service Pack 2 includes uh, the ability to record data to a Blu-ray disc media. Uh, the operating system experience updates um, consist of a new Windows Search, which is 4.0, uh, which builds Microsoft's search technology with improved indexing and search relevance. Service Pack 2 includes improves Windows Media Center uh, in the area of content protection for your TV shows. Service Pack 2 removes the limit of 10 half open outbound TCP connections uh, and by default in Service Pack 2 uh, there is no limit on the half open outbound connections. Alright, and setup and deployment improvements uh, consist of a new standalone installer uh, which provides a single installer for both Windows Vista and Windows Server 2008. It includes the ability to detect an inca incompatible driver and either block the service in pack installation or warn users of any potential loss of functionality, uh, which is good. Uh, less blue screens that way. Provides uh, better error handling and descriptive error messages where possible, so you'll start receiving less unknown errors. Improves manageability through logging in the system event log. And includes the ability to service the installer post-release. Uh, the biggest thing that I like about Service Pack 2 is that it comes with a Service Pack cleanup tool, which I'm going to show you right now. Um, I'm going to tell you what it does first. Uh, it helps recover the hard disk space by permanently deleting previous versions of the files from um, either the RTM or Service Pack 1 um, that are being serviced by Service Pack 2 so you're not using double the space. So let's take a look at that now. Alright guys, so this is going to be showing you the uh, Service Pack cleanup tool. You're going to go to your start menu after installing Service Pack 2. You're going to type in COMP CLN uh, COMP CLN and then you're going to hit enter. It will bring up this window which tells you that after they clean these packages out of your uh, system you won't be able to use them again which is okay because they're uh, expired anyways after you've installed service pack 2 so you're just going to type Y and hit enter and then it will go through its little setup and it cleaned everything out for you so that's pretty much it alright so that's what's new in service pack 2 I hope um, they keep bringing on the good stuff uh, before Windows 7 comes out. So, till next time, this is Jeff with Rogue 7 Tech Support. You like my work? Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you next time.